Alright guys, we got the rear end out and I'm trying to get the pulley off of it. So, welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And what I did, I went and drilled these holes. There was two holes, tiny holes here, so I drilled them out and uh, made it so I could put a bolt down through it so I can use this pulley puller on it. But I think I should probably heat that up a little bit so we're going to try to heat it up and see if we can't get this thing to come free I don't want to be putting pressure on this until we've got that freed up a little bit with heat so let's get it tight so that when the heat gets on it and starts freeing it you'll see hopefully a pop where it comes up because you got so much pressure on this and if it heats up enough it should pop We have a pulley off. Man, that thing was on there. Wow. That thing was on there. Now we can clean it up. I knew that was going to be a tough one to get off. So now we let it cool down and I'll start working with it and get the washer and stuff off and the C-clip or the uh, keyway out. I ain't touching it now, it's too hot. But we got the rear end out and we're going to, we're getting ready to start it. Uh, basically this is just a clean up. This is not a restore. It's just a, uh, I won't be doing any modifications to it or anything like that unless I change the pulley. Uh, I may change the pulley and put a uh, may put a smaller pulley on it. I don't know yet. Uh, we'll see how fast it is. Now that we've got it unseized, it won't be a problem to change it later if I want to. So, there you go. Uh, we'll start cleaning this up and get it nice and pretty again. Alright guys, now we're going to start cleaning this bad boy up and we're going to just kind of find out what we got here. Looks like we just got a bunch of junk in it.
All right, guys. We went ahead and cleaned it up the best we could. I'm not going to mess with this anymore. It's just uh, down in them little cracks that I can't get to. So I think that'll be good enough. Batteries you have to have it covered up anyway, and the pulley will cover up most of it. So we've got our brakes on it and got them adjusted. So. We'll probably have to readjust them, but um, there's the rear end. The bottom side looks great. It just needs a little steel wool. I'll show you what I mean. Need just a little bit of steel wool. Clean that up real nice. But that looks a whole lot better than it did. Now this here, it's going to take some um, cleaning. And it'll get painted with black hammered simply because it's a rough textured already. So. If I do it with black hammered, it'll look like it was meant to be that way. So, this is salvageable. And I have to do some cleaning up around the shaft because it's got a lot of rust on the shaft because it's hard to get off as you've seen. Uh, you can see how hard it was to come off. It pulled that in a little bit. So, yeah. That was on there pretty tight. Good thing I didn't have to put a whole lot more on it. I would have broke it. But anyway, that will be the rear end build or clean up. And the wheels are already cleaned up. So we just got to clean the pulley up and the linkage for the um, shifter and and then it's to the uh, frame, I reckon. So, I think the biggest job I'm going to be doing on this is uh, making my own muffler. Uh, we're going to try to build our own muffler. Uh, simply because I would like to utilize the place where the muffler used to be. And put a winch in there. Uh, see how that winch fits in there. It may not. I may have to make a bracket to mount it on the front so that it can be seen. I kind of wanted to keep it where it wasn't seen. But who knows? We'll find out. We'll find a place. If nothing else, we can uh, mount it underneath where the deck used to be in the middle and um, just have it to where it pins up with a plate, four pins. That way, if you ever do need to take it down to change a belt, you can. You can just take your pins out and uh, let it fall out. Take your belt out, put it back in, and then put the winch back up in there. It's an idea. We'll see. I'd like to kind of keep it out of the weather, you know, underneath the tractor so that if it rains, it doesn't get on it. Uh, so, that will conclude the uh, cleanup on the rear end, like I said, that's the best I'm going to do. Uh, I did get the shifter freed up. I don't know if I said that yet already. Uh, I got the shifter freed up. It had the, uh, the adjuster, the little ball sp and spring that goes down into holes on the shifter. They had it too tight. So I loosened that up and it started freeing up a little bit. So, thank God I didn't want to take this thing clear apart. They are a pain in the ass to get back together. So, everything's working. And, uh, sure wish I had a bead blaster, man. If I had a bead blaster, this son of a bitch would look like a brand new one. I miss my bead blaster. And one day I'm going to have me another one. But that ain't going to be until I get my own place. And it don't look like that's ever going to happen. 
at any rate, you guys have a good one. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. You guys have a good one. Later.